So RWE wrestler Randy Orton does the RKO finishing move on LeBum James. Slams LeBum James to the mat and puts this overrated bum out of his misery. Randy Orton leaves LeBum James unconscious. Randy Orton goes Randy Moss on LeBum James and catches a body. So Randy Orton appeared on a podcast and was asked his opinion on who he believes is the RBA GOAT, the greatest player of all time in RBA history. And Randy Orton reads the mind of every anti Braun sexual in the world. He says what most of us are already thinking when it comes to LeBum James. Randy Orton says, F LeBum James. It sounds like that old Yo Gotti song. F you. F you. F you. F you. Conversation going around about the GOAT. Greatest of all time, right? It's what we call John, greatest of all time, but there's a GOAT conversation, just like in all sports, they talk about LeBron, Michael, all the different things, and the stats. of oh, LeBron. Okay. Yeah. All right. We're hot. We're all hot. Yeah. Randy Orton gives LeBum James the verbal middle finger. Now, Randy Orton is more than likely using his great discernment, using his critical thinking skills, knowing sports, knowing somewhat about basketball. Even if you know a little bit about basketball, you know that LeBum James is the most overrated player in all of history. So they ask Randy Orton who he believes is the GOAT. Randy Orton stays neutral. He decides to not answer. But we already know what Randy Orton is thinking, which is that clearly by far, Michael Jordan is is the greatest basketball player to ever breathe oxygen. I mean, there's no debate. And Randy Orton is starting to be a part of the domino effect of all the Americans all across the world waking up, realizing how they were lied to and deceived, sold this illusion about how LeBum James is somehow the second greatest player of all time and want us to believe that he's somehow in the same realm as Michael Jeffrey Jordan. He hasn't even done enough. He doesn't have 10 scoring titles. He's not a nine time all defensive first team player. He's never won defensive player of the year. I mean, LeBum James wouldn't even know how to play defense even if you gave him a manual. Even if you gave LeBum James instructions on how to play defense, which they have, he still does not know how to play defense. Such an idiot. Make it make sense, ladies and gentlemen. LeBum James can never be in the same breath or should be mentioned in the same sentence with Michael Jordan. Now, what would have been better if LeBum James was actually in the same room with Randy Orton and Randy Orton just smacks the living out of LeBum James or he would have speared him or choke slammed him into a table like the Dudley brothers. We have had multiple people, multiple athletes, multiple entertainers day after day go on record and expose LeBum James. Finally being able to be free, finally be able to speak their minds, express how they really feel about LeBum James, which is that they felt like he was overrated all along. All they're doing is releasing to the public how they truly felt all along but they just couldn't say it because they didn't want to ruin relationships they know that LeBum James had a stranglehold on the RBA and over the RBA media he pays people to say positive things he pays the media to get positive coverage 24 7 in the news cycle see they didn't want to get fired Randy Orton is what you call a true champion LeBum James, although they say the RBA is real, LeBum James is still the fake champion. He literally has a rigged bubble championship, a bubblicious Disney championship. LeBum James, he knows that he's never going to win another RBA championship. So he decided to play for Team USA just so he could get a gold medal, just to feel like a champion, which is the same reason the RBA created the end season tournament and gifted the Lakers the end season tournament trophy. The RBA Cup tournament trophy. Michael Jordan is the master of basketball. LeBum James is the master of steroids. But he just so happens to use Ozempic in the summertime. Randy Orton couldn't have said it any better. He's right. LeBron, f*** you.
I've been wanting to come face to face with LeBum James for so long just so I can express that same sentiment that Randy Orton just expressed in an interview. Now for Randy Orton to have those type of feelings about LeBum James, just imagine what people amongst the circles and the people he's coming across truly feel about LeBum James. They know that this man is not worth the hype and the media has sold the public a lie for years since the beginning of his career. Randy Orton knows that LeBum James ain't built like Kobe Bryant. He's not even close to who Kobe Bryant was. Kobe Bryant is respected in these circles in the entertainment industry. He knows that LeBum James is not better than Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. He knows that LeBum James isn't better than Karl Malone. He knows that LeBum James is not better than Will Chamberlain. He's not better than Magic Johnson, Steph Curry, Shaquille O'Neal, Dwayne Wade, Allen Iverson, Larry Bird. I mean, the list goes on and on. I could name 10,000 players better than LeBum James. Randy Orton knows that Michael Jordan has the most impressive, legendary, decorated career of all time. Michael Jordan is the greatest, has the greatest resume in RBA history. The bum James has nothing but asterisks by all of his accomplishments. Even basketball aside, Randy Orton knows that LeBum James isn't even half the man that he is. Jay Cargill is more man than LeBum James. 